let us have a small overview of Android S or Android 12 developer preview 2 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And let us have a small overview of Android S or Android 12 developer preview 2 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, those of you who are interested in an install video, I am going to have a poll on Twitter and if there is enough interest, I will make an install video and I am a bit reluctant about that because right off the bat, this thing is not a daily driver right now a lot of things are broken on this build like say your device audio is broken and youtube lags all those things so i'm not sure whether it is worth putting in the effort to make an install video because the install process itself takes some time another important thing i would like to mention is that out of the box the developer preview 2 comes with the normal look which you get in android 11 right now however i have installed some extensions by kr dragon riru core is there else post is there so this is what results in me having a new ui or what is known as the monet ui because this ui right now is hidden and not enabled out of the box so that's another thing which i would like to mention so this is how the build comes out of the box of course pixel launcher is there and something which is very impressive here is that it is pretty smooth there are no jitters and no lags once you flash a few files however do note there are many random reboots next up let us see the new accent color based ui so this is how the accent color looks like right now let us go into styles and wallpapers and change the wallpaper let us use this wallpaper and see how the ui changes right now there is a bit of a pinkish tint here let us apply this to the home and the lock screen and as you can see the tint changed and we can also go back into styles and wallpapers and as you can see the tint has now changed to orangish let me see if i can find a blue wallpaper let us try out this solid blue apply this guy and see how the ui tint changes there it is you can see everything is now blue so this is something again which was enabled by the monet ui next change you will notice is if you try to access the widgets you will see you now have a list the app name is there how many widgets are there and it is expandable when you tap on this these are the clock widgets swipe across to access the other widgets here it is you can swipe and access other ones and then you can collapse the menu next up is the lock screen so you do have a new lock screen clock this is how it looks like and when you have the music player enabled and visible on your lock screen this will shift on the top right and you will have a notification for your music player unfortunately for me i am not able to play any music on this build either so if you go into library songs device files if i try to play this music you can see i'm getting this error no connection which is why i am not able to show off that feature next up we can have a look at the volume panel so you have the old style volume panel the quick setting tiles here it is you can see they are tinted in the wallpaper accent color and you will notice that the do not disturb and the battery saver quick setting tiles have been moved to the first page of tiles here are the other tiles tap on edit and you can of course add different tiles as well next thing we can do is let us go into settings and as you can see you do have the one ui inspired ui in android 12 and apps and notifications now have two separate menu options if you go into battery you again have the same ui tint battery usage is an explicit option instead of three dot menu on the top right and then battery usage you do have a toggle for battery saver and if you tap here you can go inside and another thing you will notice is that the master toggle is bigger in size as compared to this one and once you enable it it's going to have a check mark inside it so this is something new which they have done as well 
Next thing, if you go into sound and vibration, and as you can see, the UI is sometimes a bit laggy. Anyways, sound and vibration, media player. You can now choose on a per app basis which applications have the capability of showing up in your quick settings as a media player. Other than that, the option for prevent ringing has moved over here as well. Next up, if we go back and go into display, you see how they have segregated or created different categories. So within display, you have brightness, then you have lock screen display, visibility, color, and general. So again, something new. And as always, a master toggle along with the option of tapping in and going there. Now, this is something which is super confusing, right? There's nothing new over here. So you only have a master toggle. So I'm not sure why they have this toggle over here, but I will give them the benefit of the doubt considering this is a developer preview. Now, something new which I noticed is when you go into dark theme, right? It now explicitly mentions that it needs access to location so that it can determine the sunset and sunrise times in case you want to schedule your dark theme from sunset to sunrise. Next up, you also have the option of screen timeout. Now, interesting, tap here. Instead of the pop-up screen, you have another screen and here in, you also have screen attention and it clearly tells you that camera access is needed. So I think Google is going more towards, you know, letting you know when they will access certain things explicitly rather than you assuming a lot of things. Then similarly, you have options for night side. Colors is also here, of course, for the Poco F1 on this build. There are no color options. Next up, we can have a look at the new gestures which we get. So we'll go into settings, system and gestures. Here it is. You do have the double tap on the back gesture. Now, double tap on the back of the phone to open assistant, take screenshot and different options. Unfortunately, this is not working right now on the Poco F1 and it might be a Pixel 5 exclusive. Then you do have swipe for notifications, quickly open camera, the system navigation is still the same, gesture or three button, go into settings and you can configure the sensitivity for the left and right edge. Interesting thing, one handed mode, enable this guy. And now if I swipe down like this, bam, here it is, one handed mode in the building. Now, of course, this is not perfect right now because these icons disappeared. Let's give it one more try. Here it is. You can see the bottom icons disappeared. So one handed mode is present, but it is not perfect right now. Next thing I would like to show off is YouTube picture in picture mode improvements. Now for starters, as I already told you, there are jitters and lags in the YouTube media playback. As you can see, it just paused. However, the new features which they have added is, as you can see, the size of the picture in picture window is bigger. The maximum size is bigger. Then you can put it across to the side and go about doing your work, bring it back when you want to. So this is something which is of course pretty nifty. Then if you tap on it, you get the different options of next video, maximize it and all those things. So these new YouTube picture in picture features are pretty impressive. Next new thing you will notice is with the pin and the pattern lock. So right now I do have the pin set up and as you can see, this is how the pin UI looks like. These are your buttons on the bottom for enter and backspace and emergency call is now highlighted. And in case you have set up a pattern as your screen lock, you will see that the thickness of the line is now more and it follows your finger swipes. So as you can see, thick bar is following my swipe. Other than that, you also have a new section for safety and emergency and herein you should be able to set your emergency contacts, your emergency alerts and all the other things. Now specifically for the POCO F1, the good news is that Gcam 7.4 works without any issues. I didn't get to check all the features but yes, normal photographs and portrait mode is working absolutely fine.
So all in all, it is good to see that the POCO F1 being such an old device is running the latest developer preview of Android 12 with such smoothness and of course we do need our awesome developers to fix a lot of things for now but all of this is eventually good news for POCO peeps and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.